Well, as we hit the road to downtown Orlando this week, some business owners told us they're hoping others will do the same. One restaurant owner told me her business is down 50%. She just doesn't see that foot traffic that she used to. And that's something that Hamburger Mary cited as a reason to close its Church Street location after 16 years and move business to Kissimmee. It is a tough time right now, and I hit the road to learn more. On the first floor of the Chase Building along Orange Avenue in the heart of downtown Orlando is where you'll find Nifty's Korean barbecue and ramen. Do you need something to drink? Helen So and her husband have been here for seven years, just the two of them. <laughs> Wife takes the orders, husband makes the food. One person's cooking, so it's not just one item, but all throughout the whole menu, it's the same person cooking, meaning the food is consistent. But the So's authentic Korean cuisine may be the only thing that's consistent right now. I used to be busy during lunchtime, but now I think our business is, has dropped 50%. 50%? Yeah. You know, as a business owner, you are worried if your sales drop this much. You guys died again? Or? Yes, yeah. She says it's never been this slow, even during COVID. They used to be open until 9 o'clock. Now they close at 630. In her eyes, not enough people are willing to come downtown. People already have the notion that it's dangerous to come downtown mm. because of all the news that's out there about right. gun violence. Mm -hmm. But the city's not doing anything really about it. And the homeless, you know, problem as well, because every time somebody's walking down the street, you know, they got they get hit by the homeless people for, you know, a dollar or two, whatever. And, you know, it's a nuisance. So you're saying there are too many reasons for someone not to come downtown. There's more reason not to come downtown than to come downtown. $10, $20, whatever parking that they have to pay to come downtown mm -hmm. is extra burden, especially these days. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's already struggling because of everything has so appreciated so much. I'm sure that's in line with you too. Yes, you probably my, have to charge more. We, yeah. Well, we haven't changed our prices because I know how struggling people are. Even though my ingredients have gone up after COVID, at least 30, 40 percent, I'm still charging same prices. So pointed to Hamburger Mary's closing after 16 years as an example of how things have changed downtown. Nearby storefronts also vacant all along Church Street. We're constantly communicating with our businesses and we understand that there's challenges in operating in any economic climate, but also in ones that are going through a transition. David Barilla is the executive director of the Downtown Development Board. That transition is the city's efforts to shift downtown from a business hub to more of a neighborhood. He said revitalizing Church Street is a key component. We've got some new programs to incentivize businesses to come in, but having a distinct focus on Church Street is absolutely at the top of our agenda. All right, so I did talk to several other restaurant owners and managers on the phone all throughout the downtown area, Ginger. It seems the ones near Thornton Park mm -hmm. are seeing, come on camera, are seeing a little bit more success <laughs> than the ones that are closer to Church Street. And I, and I do want to be clear, and I, I failed to mention this in the 545 story when, that, when it aired then, that I only talked to restaurants and not nightclubs. Because I know nightclubs, that is a different sure. cir sort of circumstance, and I know they are really struggling as well. So yeah. I'm, I was just specifically wanting to see how restaurants are faring. And I know that's a tough economic climate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's tough everywhere. But if you go all around downtown Orlando, and you go to Ivanhoe, and you go to Mills 50, and you go to the Milk District, they're having a lot of success. So I mean, you got to wonder it's, what it's the more deal than is. That, right. well, yeah. So I, kudos to them because when during the pandemic and there was the supply chain issue, yes. everyone raised their prices mm -hmm. every week, it seemed like. And the fact that they are still charging the same prices, you know they're taking a huge hit. And she said, if I do raise prices, then that person who comes twice a week will only come once a week. And she's like, it just doesn't make sense. It's not yeah. going to make my sales go up to charge more. She's thinking the long game. Yeah. All right. So we'll be covering stories like this when we hit the road on Thursday to downtown Orlando, covering the entire 32801 zip code. We're broadcasting live from Lake Eola Park from 4 to 7 p.m. Stop by and say hello. Our Hits the Road coverage leads right up to the fireworks at the fountain celebrating a city of heroes that is sponsored by Dan Newland Injury Attorneys. We'll bring you stories of the men and women who get results for our country, our community, all leading up to that big fireworks show. Come on out.